we are at Johnny Rockets. Oreo shake. Some leftover. Oh, this is the smokehouse burger. Is it good? Yeah. This lasagna is called Meat Lovers, and there is a lot of meat in it. I don't know what kind, but it tastes good. Noel, are you gonna eat the delicious chicken tenders? You can have it. <laughs> Hebrew. Hebrew, join me. Oh, one okay. okay. <laughs> oh, yeah! Woo! It worked! It, it always works. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Gabriel. Welcome back to my channel. Some of you may remember back in season one, I did a wedding episode called Hashtag Joyshua 2015. In the episode, one of my really good friends named Joyce got married to her then fiance, Josh. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, you can watch it in one of the cards that's gonna show up somewhere around here. Fast forward to about two years later, around the same exact time, the twin sister, Josephine, actually got married. So this episode's basically gonna be me talking about the wedding and showing the video footage that I did get because I was late to the wedding, which really sucks. But if you did click on this video and you were interested in seeing the actual formal wedding video that they have, I'll put a link to their wedding video in the description box below. I've seen it a couple of times now and it's incredibly beautiful and so well done. Way better than anything I ever could have done, so yeah. Hello, today is Saturday, August 12th. It is 5.09 p.m. I am on my way to Josephine's wedding currently stuck in traffic I'm late as usual the wedding is at 530 and my GPS is saying I will not get there until 553 I don't know if by the time I get there they'll be saying their vows or not Grace said that she liked my outfit she was like oh you stepping up I love dressing up formally like I feel like I can find my style I wish I could wear a bow tie I need to learn how to tie a bow tie that would be cool yeah so at this point in the story um, it's gonna be weird because some people watching this probably won't know anything about me so this video might be a little bit random to you but but for those of you that don't know, I have been living in Korea for the last two years and for the first time I was visiting America and in the last couple of episodes I've been going around surprising my family, my cousin, and one of my best friends. The wedding was on Saturday so at this point I had been in America for exactly one week. I knew like a decent amount of the people that were attending the wedding because we all went to the same church but the only person that knew that I was coming was Josephine and that's because she had to make the seating chart and stuff and actually place my name. The funny thing is Okay, so I used to live in Stafford, Virginia, and when I met Josephine and all of my friends at this church, when I would talk to them about Stafford, like nobody would know what Stafford was. I'm like, what's Stafford? People would know the neighboring cities, but they would have no idea what Stafford was. But it turns out Josephine's wedding was in Stafford at a place that I've never even heard of. It was a winery. I was like, what? It was kind of like in the back roads of Stafford a little bit, but it was a really beautiful place. I rolled up, I saw all these other cars parked, and I could just feel like the anxiety. I opened my car door, and and I literally heard them say, and you are now husband and wife. Everyone started clapping and I went back into my car and I closed the door. <laughs> And I was just like, man. And I started texting my sister and I was like, I missed the ceremony. But it was even more awkward because once they finished the ceremony, Josephine and her husband Wayne and the bridesmaids and everyone, they started like gravitating towards the parking lot because there is like this area where you can kind of chill and talk and gather around. And they were doing that while all the guests were going up to the reception area. So yeah, so they started walking in my direction and I, I started to feel the sweats. And I was like, oh, they're walking over here and they might see me in the car and I'm just like hi but I had to bite the bullet I got out of the car and I saw them and they were like Gabriel where were you and I was like hi so I walked up and I saw a oh, precious Noelle so Noelle is the daughter of my former Bible study teachers and it's been a while since I've seen her and she's definitely grown she is just so cute so smart and she was the flower girl at the wedding Say hi. are you having fun Too. You were the flower girl. I, if I'm still little, I'll be a 
after I was kind of hanging out, talking, catching up with some friends, they all kind of got together and they started taking a picture. I was like doing some pan video footage of them when they were taking the picture. And then after that, I kind of made my way up to the reception area, which was so beautiful and so nice. I don't think I took any video footage of the outside, which I should have done. I made my way inside. Typically at weddings, the bridal party and especially the bride and groom are, you know, taking some time to take pictures. Once that was over, the bridal party started to do their intros. I don't think I filmed any of them marching in. <laughs> Sorry about that, but I did get some footage of the first dance, so I will definitely show some of that.
Throughout this entire time, I was feeling honestly pretty horrible. I missed the ceremony, which really sucks. I haven't seen my good friends in such a long time, and this was supposed to be like, you know, the time to catch up and enjoy our time together. But I had somewhere that I needed to go at the end of the night. I did push the time a little bit, so I did leave a little bit later than I had originally planned, but it's just the way things ended up working out. With the time that I spent in America, it was so limited, so everything just kind of felt like it needed to be back to back to back, which was the sucky part about all of it. I think most most of them knew that that would be the last time I could see them before going back to Korea. It sucked, it was only a couple of hours, but honestly it was really good to see everybody and it was really good to catch up. Yeah, so I took pictures with everyone. I made my way down. At this point, I think it was starting to rain, which with my hair is not a good combination. So I got back to my car and it was off to my final surprise. For those of you that are regular viewers, you'll kind of understand what's happening right now. But after the wedding, I had already made plans to do my last surprise and it was for one of my best friends. His name is Anthony. The reason why this was happening now was because my house is actually really far away from where the wedding was. So I had called Anthony's mom a couple days before to let her know that I was not only back in America, but I wanted to surprise him. So she was like working with me to help me kind of set things up, which was really cool. And I definitely needed her help. At the wedding, I was like, text me if he's coming home. <laughs> Cause I needed to get there before him. So I got in my car, I'm making my way to his house. I knock on the door and the surprise begins. Yeah, so I hope that you guys liked this episode. It was definitely a different take on a wedding, but hands down, even if I had the footage, there's no way I could have like competed with the actual wedding video that they did get produced. So again, I highly encourage you look at that. It's so beautiful. Yeah, so definitely be excited for the next episode. This is the last surprise and I can honestly say it gets pretty emotional. Yeah, so if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Definitely be sure to subscribe. You can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat at Zuff678. Be yourself. Love yourself, and I'll see you guys in the next video. All right, bye. When you put God first, things will always happen for the best. Yes, God will take care of you. I was on my way to the final surprise of my visit in America. It was for one of my best friends. His name is Anthony. I remember getting kind of emotional because of like the culmination of what these surprises have meant to me. These are people that really matter a lot in my life and they're always there for me no matter what. He's still not here, right? Oh, it's okay. It's okay? Yeah! <laughs>